Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and today's video will be answering the question, what is the power set of the empty set? I know the empty set can cause a lot of confusion in set theory, so hopefully we can clear up some of that confusion in today's lesson. In this video, I'm going to write the empty set like this. I often use the curly brackets with nothing inside, but I get really sick of writing those, so we're just going to use this notation for the empty set. And so the subject of today's discussion, of course, is this guy right here, the power set of the empty set. Let's move it to the center, make it nice and big. This is what we're talking about today. And I strongly encourage you before watching the rest of the video to just take a minute or two and think about what the power set of the empty set should be. Keeping in mind the definition of the empty set and the definition of a power set, just think about what this should be and see what you can come up with. Seeing the solution to a problem is always much more helpful if you've made some progress towards that solution yourself. So just take a minute or two to think about it and then watch the rest of the video. All right, so hopefully you've thought about it for a couple minutes and if not, no hard feelings. So let's quickly recap our definitions and then look at the solution. The empty set, remember, is just the set that is empty. It's got no elements in it. The power set of a set, let me write it here. The power set of a set A is just the set containing every subset of A. So here's an example. This is the power set of the set containing one. The power set of the set containing one is the set containing the empty set as well as the set containing one. These are the only two subsets of the set containing one. And remember the handy dandy rule that if the cardinality of a set A is equal to N, then the cardinality of the power set of A is equal to 2 to the power of n. So of course, in this case, our set has one element, and so its power set has 2 to the power of one element, which is just equal to 2. So let's just get this example out of the way, and if we keep this rule in mind as we look at the power set of the empty set, the cardinality of the empty set, of course, is 0. So the cardinality of the power set of the empty set is equal to 2 to the power of zero, which is just equal to one. So the power set of the empty set only has one element in it, but what is that element? Well, let's take a look. The power set of the empty set is equal to the set that contains only the empty set. So why is this? Well, remember that the power set of the empty set is just going to be the set containing every subset of the empty set. The empty set is the only subset of the empty set. And that's why it's the only element in the power set of the empty set. And let me say that one more time because it can be hard to follow when I'm using the word set so much. So again, the power set of the empty set is the set that contains every subset of the empty set. The empty set is the only subset of the empty set. So the power set of the empty set is the set that contains only the empty set. So this power set here has to contain every subset of that set. This set is the only subset of that set. So this set is the only element of our power set. We know that no other set is a subset of the empty set because every other set has an element in it and the empty set doesn't. So that immediately disqualifies any other set from being a subset of the empty set. The empty set is the only subset of the empty set, and that is why this is true. The power set of the empty set is the set containing only the empty set. So I hope this video helped you understand what the power set of the empty set is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description.